Shampoo is engine oil seems like a really crazy idea. However, I've probably had at least a thousand people write comments suggesting that head and shoulder shampoo will outperform any engine oil or any additive on the Lubristi tester. So let's get the testing underway and see how head and shoulders stacks up against the competition. We're gonna measure the film strength of head and shoulders using this Lubristi tester. We're gonna use head and shoulders as engine oil and run the engine for an entire hour. We're also gonna compare how head and shoulders compares to 10W30 oil at extremely cold temperature. So what's the key ingredient inside of the head and shoulders shampoo? It is the zinc. Head and shoulders claims it cleans, protects, and moisturizes. This is exactly what you want in an engine oil. The safety data sheet provides the list of chemicals that are inside of the head and shoulders shampoo, including several up top, but the, really the magic one that we're looking for is the zinc at the bottom, and it contains between one half and one and a half percent zinc. If you ever wanna know more about the ingredients the specific information on them can be found by doing some research online. Look up these cast numbers and you'll find a lot more information. The pH value for head and shoulders is somewhere between 6.5 and 8.6. Also, the boiling point or boiling range is over 93 degrees Celsius or over 199 degrees Fahrenheit. I had a lot of comments suggesting that Head & Shoulders would easily beat any of the additives we tested. Well, Head & Shoulders is on the left and Best Line is on the right. Now if I had some motor coat to test, motor coat would have about the same amount of scoring or maybe even a little bit less. So there are quite a few additives out there that will easily beat Head & Shoulders. The amount of scoring on each bearing is relatively small. So what I'm going to do is quadruple the amount of weight that's being applied to each bearing, which is going to show us a lot more contrast. The first test we only had one bearing on the tester. Now we've added actually four different items quadrupling the amount of weight on the bearing. So we'll see how it performs. I'm gonna go ahead and add the kilowatt device. We're gonna see how many amps this pulls under a significant load and then we'll compare it to head and shoulders. This is head and shoulders, the original test. This is best line. This is best line with four times the amount of weight and this is head and shoulders. As you can see, the best line with just four times the amount of weight is still better than the head and shoulders with a fraction of the weight. Very clearly, the head and shoulders is not going to compete against a lot of the products or additives out there. Again, I'm not trying to sell best line. I could have used motor coat and gotten the same exact result, if not even better. We want to make sure we don't add too much head and shoulders, so I'm going to make sure I fill this to the white line, and that will indicate that we've got 16 ounces of head and shoulders. Okay, the head and shoulders level is full.
It was very much seized a minute ago when I got it to spin. So as you can see, the engine is, is now spinning over. It's very stiff. I suspect there's been some cylinder wall scoring. If not, I would say we didn't do any favors to this engine. It's probably going to experience some compression loss. Well, Head & Shoulders is definitely not as good as most of the products we've tested. In fact, I would have to say that Head & Shoulders is the worst product we've tested. Even Wider did a better job as a crankcase lubricant after the engine was pre-treated with motor coat than Head & Shoulders did. I really thought we'd get at least 15 to 20 minutes out of this product, but unfortunately, just because it's high viscosity and it has zinc in it, doesn't mean it's going to perform well. As we've seen with some of the other thick, high viscosity oil additives out there, they tend to foam up when the heat is on. And that's exactly what happened with Head & Shoulders. I realize it's not fair to compare a petroleum-based product with a product like Head & Shoulders. However, it is high viscosity and it does have zinc in it. I had a lot of requests for this video and I had a lot of fun doing it. So if you want to provide a video idea, there's a good chance I'll put together a video on it in the future. So please leave a comment because I read just about every comment. Also, I hope I've earned a thumbs up this time. If I've earned a thumbs down, I'll totally understand. I understand that a lot of folks like the other type of videos that I normally do. Anyway, please leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you next time.